Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim is in Abu Dhabi for a meeting with various Arab leaders. Qatar's foreign minister touches on the EU corruption scandal, Russian gas, Palestine, and more. Stick around to find out why you will no longer need to wait for seasons when shopping for vegetables. And finally, excitement is in the air as Paris Saint-Germain stars make an appearance in Qatar. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim and Hamad Al Thani landed in the UAE earlier today for a brotherly consultative meeting between GCC member states, Jordan and Egypt. This is the second such visit to the UAE since the blockade was lifted, and analysts say while it does signify steps towards reapproachment, schisms between the two GCC states still remain. The UAE was part of a regional quartet that imposed a blockade on Qatar back in 2017, but has been blamed for a series of disinformation campaigns targeting Doha in recent years. For more analysis on what these visits could mean, head over to our website. Now, Qatar's foreign minister is over in Europe for the annual World Economic Forum and the top official has not shied away from touching on the most pressing issues. Speaking at a panel, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani said Muslim nations are working on reversing restrictive Taliban policies targeting Afghan women. In a separate sit-down with CNBC, the official said Europe should avoid dragging Qatar's name into its corruption scandal while the investigation is ongoing. He also appeared to sway away from comments made by Qatar's energy minister, saying Doha does not in fact follow the forgive and forget approach when it comes to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. For the entire interview and Sheikh Mohammed's comments, head over to our website. Now, Qatar could soon boast its own plant factory that will allow authorities to produce vegetables throughout the entire year. The news was revealed by a ministry official on Qatar TV who pointed towards cutting-edge technology that will be used to provide consistent high-quality crops. This will include the use of artificial regulation of the growth environment. World Cup champion Lionel Messi is back in Qatar, and this time he is joined by his teammates at PSG. The star-studded team includes Kylian Mbappe, Neymar, Ashraf Hakimi, and more, all of whom kicked off a live and public training session at Khalifa International Stadium earlier today. The team is now set to head to Riyadh on Thursday to take on Cristiano Ronaldo and an all-star Saudi team for an exciting friendly. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.